I am finally done with sophomore year of fall semester. Um, this semester was pretty relaxed and laid back compared to freshman year. Uh, well, most of you all has been asking for a what's in my track bag video. Um, so I decided to do both the bag that I carry at the track meet and also a practice bag because both of my bags vary um, depending on the days. Um, so let's get started with my track bag. So this is my bag from last year. Uh, I'm quite sure we'll most likely get new ones um, for the fall for the upcoming season. Um, but it looks kind of heavy. But usually when I level everything out on the day of a meet, um, it don't look as big or do it. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. So okay. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, I have a visor connected to my book bag. The days that when we have a meeting it's very hot um our coach recommends we wear a hat um so i choose a visor um instead of a a baseball cap type hat because you all know i wear the two ponytails so i rather my two ponytails to stick out of the visor rather than me having to walk around with my hair not in the two ponytails just to put a hat on um the water bottle is essential because this bag i not only take to the tracks but i travel I'm with it as my carry-on and airport water is too expensive so I'd rather just take my own bottle and fill it up once I get through the airport so let's get started with what's inside so I have a bag within a bag so let's see so basically I have this bag um, which is essential for track meets in this bag um, there is my tape measure lotion because for some reason every time I get ready to go to the line and I strip down I'm ashy I leave the hotel with lotion on but somehow I still end up ashy so this is essential um I have two tape measures it is always important to have two because if one gets misplaced or if you leave one at the starting line or something you always have a backup tape measure or your teammate may need one. You never know. It's just safe to have two. Um, and then I also have my asthma pumps. These two, I have one as a backup because I keep one on hand and I give one to my athletic trainer. And then I also have this pump. Um, some of you may wonder what's the difference between the pumps. This one, I can only take two pumps a day. Whereas this one, I can take as many times as needed. Um, but when I take this one, I have to always rinse my mouth out after taking this one, whereas this one, I just take it and go. Um, so these two are essential, especially on these days. Um, and then I also, you gotta have some, you gotta have some, um, chapstick. Cause them cameras be in your face. You can't go on the line with some ashy lips. So let's see what else is in here. Um, so I have my spikes inside this bag. Basically, it's constantly bags within bags within bags. Um, so I have my spikes. These are our team issue spikes. Um, we received these last year. Um, I'm quite sure we'll be getting different ones um, for the upcoming season. I think it might be a similar shoe but different colors. Um, so I wear these ones on the 4x1 relay um, so I can match with my teams. Whereas when I run the 100 or the 200, my individual events, I switch spikes um, to these. I can't show off these spikes uh, because I was told not to because these are testing spikes. Um, but I wear these ones in the 100, 200. Um, I also have my lacro lacrosse ball. This one is harder than this one. I don't know what kind of ball this one. I think this one is a tennis ball. Um, but basically, I have a lacrosse ball because it I use it as a, um, as a tool to, like, roll out my legs, and, but definitely to roll out my, fo um, my foot. Um, because the lactic acid goes from my hamstring, but it doesn't just sit my hamstring. It goes all the way down to my foot. So I use a lacrosse ball to easily roll out the pain. 
Um, if I don't have a lacrosse ball, I'll resort to this, the little tennis ball. Um, and I think I'm missing peanut. I'm missing little peanut. Where's little peanut? Oh, wait. I gotta find peanut. He might be in here somewhere. So that's what's all in this bag. College, you will see a lot of, um, a lot of athletes walk around with not this type of bag, but to walk around with their drawstring, especially um, when warming up and it's getting closer um, to the race. I don't know why, but most of us, it's just less where you, so you don't have to carry around this bag that have all of your other stuff in it. Whereas all you really need when you get on the line is your spikes and tape measures. But for me, I need spikes, tape measure, lip, um, chapstick, lotion, I need all that. So I put all of that in this bag so I can just grab it and go. Um, and then let's see what else we have up in here. Um, I have my iPad. Cause I don't really, I don't really use my phone at meets. I'm not big on using my phone throughout the meet and stuff like that. So I'll maybe use my iPad maybe to play games, or if I was to use my phone, it'd maybe be for a game or something. But um, I don't be on social media during the meets. Um, I don't really listen to music during the meets. I listen to music while getting ready at the hotel and while on the bus heading to the meet. Um, but once I step off the bus, my phone is in my bag and is in there until the meet is over um what else we have up in here have some pouches containing some wipes um the wipes are essential especially when you leaving the meet um so you can wipe down on um, before having to board the planes and stuff toothbrush all that uh what's in this one? Oh, in this one you gotta have hand sanitizers because sometimes at track meets, the closest restroom to you would be a porta potty. Hand sanitizer is a must. I got to rack up on my hand sanitizer. Um, and then I have a leave for if a teammate is in pain and needs some type of relief or Tylenol or something. I have that. Um, and then I have some deodorant which is essential once again after you have to clean and stuff after the meat. Um, and then my shades, a must. If you know me, you know me. At track meets, I got to have on the shades. I have them on during warm-up all the way till we get to strides. One time I walked to the 100, I was about to walk down to the 100 to line up for the race, and I had shades on. I didn't even know I had shades on until last minute. I was like, why does men look so dark in front of me? Come to find out, I had my shades on. Um, and then I have my Beats, um, the Solo Wireless. Um, I take these to the meets, and since I don't really use headphones like to listen to music and stuff, um, I'll allow my other teammates to use the headphones um, if they want. Um, I just let them keep it for maybe the whole meet. However long they need them for, I just tell them to get them. And then just make sure you turn them back the same way I gave them to you. I have these books. Both of them have goals in them. My goals for the season. But this book is really important because in this book I write down the... Uh, ooh, my little page ripped out. In this book I write down the meet, um, the name of the meet, the location, the events I'm participating in that meet. And then basically each round and a little feedback on what I noticed in the race, what I need to do better, or what I shouldn't have done, basically. Um, and then I write down both prelim times um, and finals time. What did I get, what place did I get in the final? Um, what was my time? Um, did I run slower in the finals than I did in the prelims or vice versa? And then I just reflect back on all of it. Um, I also write down the dates of the meets and things like that. So I have this one from last season of all my meets and then things like that um, and then this book is just maybe have goals um, throughout the book of my goals for the season or maybe like what I need to improve on and things like that basically my off the track goals my on the track goals my in the classroom goals um, 
I'll share my goals with you all as the season go on. I can't show you all right now. Well, it's not that I can't. I just don't want to. Um, yeah. So these two books are a must, especially this one, so I can document how the meet went, what I did, what was my times, where was I, things like that. Oh, hello, Peanut. So for my, what can I say, my old tea babies, they they remember Peanut. You should remember Peanut. Um, basically, Peanut, I use them to roll out my legs. Um, after me, maybe I also use them for my foot, um, if I don't have the lacrosse ball at the time. And then basically with Peanut, I can actually roll out, um, this area here to get, like, um, a deeper, how can I say it, to get deeper into it, um, with Lil Peanut because he can actually go all the way up and down compared to a lone stick roller and things like that. Um, I think that may be all in my track bag. Oh, no! These come in handy, especially for those that be on their phones a lot. What do they call them? Power packs? Portable chargers? Well, I always keep two. Maybe a coach needed it, maybe another athlete needed it. So I always keep two on deck. And then, you know, this one is kind of fancy. You got the two little holes, so two people can be charging at one time and stuff. So I keep those with me. And then I always have a pen or two so I can write into my books. Oh, and also, depending on my mood, um, going into the meet, I'll take either, either three of these books um, to the track meet with me. So I'll take either this book, this book, or this book just to keep myself occupied um, as I'm waiting for the next race and things like that. So, depending on my mood, I may take all three. I may take two. Um, who knows? Just a little something to keep my mind occupied. Um, and then, I remember telling you all that I used a visor. On the days that I used a visor, my headband is inside my book bag. So, depending on what uniform you're wearing, cardinal or black, um, that would determine which headband would be in my book bag. Um, and then I'll put the headband on before... Um, I go into the check-in tent for the last time. And, yeah, that's all that's in my track bag. And outside of my track bag, I'll have this roller um, that I got from a former teammate. From a former teammate. So, basically, you can just use this to roll out um, for those that don't know. So, I carry this on one side of my book bag. And then, also, depending on my mood, I'll have my Burks in my bag um, because after the meet, if I want to take my shoes off, I have to have these. I can't wear regular slides like these ones because these ones tend to bend as you walk in. Y'all know when y'all wear Nike slides and stuff and you walk in, you just all of a sudden have that trip and ain't nothing right there. That's what these slides do and my coach will be pissed if I end up messing up my foot or something just because of those slides. So I use the Burks so they can support my feet and yeah so that's all for my track bag it's combobbly right now showed you all what's usually in my track meet bag now i'm gonna show you all what's in my practice bag um the things that's in my practice bag today varies along the week depending on what classes i have that day before practice or maybe after practice so what i have in my practice bag as of now is not what I will have every single day. Like I said, it varies depending on how that day goes. Like my track bag, I have this bag, um, but instead I have spikes in here. Um, but my spikes, these are my practice spikes. They were given last year. Um, they were my practice spikes, but then they turned into like my meat spikes before I got the other pair. Um, as you can see, these one is dirtier than the um, other ones that be in my track bag considering I only wear those ones like on a 4x1. Um, I put in work in these ones. You see the marks from the track meets and things like that. Um, So I now use these as my practice spikes since I didn't use them as much. Um, Like I showed you all, I must have the shades at, even at practice because practice the sun be out. This is LA so I always wear my shades. Um, I don't really care for lotion in, in, in my track bag, um, but I do keep the two tape mat. I have the pumps again, but 
I don't keep my pumps in this bag because this once I'm done with this bag after practice, I keep this bag in my locker. Um, so I take my pumps out to put them back in my regular bag. I mean, if for practice, I wear this hat um, because I don't wear two ponytails during practice, of course. Um, so I wear this hat, use this one because my hair is usually down most of the time. Unless I have my hair in a ponytail or something, then I'll wear the visor over this hat. Usually in my, whew, in my track bag is my schoolwork because I come straight from class to practice or either I have practice, then class. Um, so the stuff that's in here now is from my semester that just ended. Um, so like Mondays, I'll only have this book in here, this um, in here because this is a three subject spiral book. I only have one class on Monday, so I'll just have this book in here in, in my laptop, and that's like about it for Mondays. Um, I always say I don't really use my laptop in certain classes because I'm more of a visual learner, so I like to write my things out. Um, but I'll take it just in case something might pop up where I need the laptop, or sometimes I might just end up getting bored in one class and decide to do something on my laptop. Um, and then... Tuesday, Thursday, I had Spanish class. So I had these two books for Spanish class. Um, and all of my classes were before practice. So I'll carry this bag to weights, which was at 6.45 a.m. And then I'll end up doing whatever else we have after weights, then going to class, and then going to practice. And that's about it in my practice bag, I think. And then uh, you'll catch me with a water here and there. Um, the, the Gatorade bottle I put in my practice bag followed by another bottle or a swell uh, because I like to have two bottles during practice because I do not like drinking cold water and for the athletes they have um, water inside the containers but the container have ice so I prefer room temperature water so I take the bottles and pour it into my other bottle um, what else do I have in my practice bag there isn't really much in my practice bag because I keep most of my stuff in my locker, but that's all that's in my bag.